medal, along with their parents. Parents, I'll apologize if I miss the pronunciation. I just received this about three minutes ago. I'll do the best I can. I think we're okay. Let's begin with our first student athlete, Justin Raymond Allsbrook. His parents are Raymond Ann Allsbrook and Catherine Ann Allsbrook. He's been attending LMA for six years, since the seventh grade. He's been playing varsity football for three years, junior varsity for two years, and JV basketball for two years. As for his college plans, he is undecided. Next is Ms. Grace Elizabeth Briggs. Her parents are Robbie Briggs and Amy Briggs. She's been here at LMA for three years. She played varsity softball for three. She's been a varsity cheerleader for one, National Honor Society, Beta Club, Yearbook Staff, and the Senior Class Vice President. She's played softball for three years and cheered for one year. She plans to attend the College of Charleston. Next is Ms. Sigmund Elaine Bryant. She is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Kenneth Bryant. She's been at LMA for 14 years. She's a member of the Anchor Club, the Beta Club, a class rep, National Honor Society, a class officer, and is the assistant chaplain of the Executive Student Council. She's been a JV cheerleader for one year and a varsity cheerleader for three years. She plans to attend Walford in the fall. Next is Kendall Ann Carraway. She's the daughter of Wanda Barlett Carraway and Edward Haygood Carraway. She's been at LMA for seven years. She's participated in bowling, track, and has been a cheerleader for nine years. She's been in the Beta Club for three, Senior, Hon Senior National Honor Society for one, and is a student council representative for six. Her plans are to attend College of Charleston. Next is Elizabeth Collins. Her parents are William Britton Collins and Jennifer Newman Thames. She has been at LMA for seven years. She's a member of the National Honor Society for three years, Beta Club for three years, and a member of the yearbook staff for one year. For four years, she has represented Lawrence Manning as a tennis player. She plans to attend the University of South Carolina this fall. Next is Summer Lynn Corbett. She is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Johnny Corbett. She's been at LMA for 15 years. She's a member of the National Honor Society for two, Beta Club for three, Anchor Club for two, and has been a varsity cheerleader for two years. She plans to attend the University of South Carolina. Next is Haley Vivian Erickson. She's the daughter of Matthew Charles Taylor and Elizabeth Joanne Taylor. She's been at LMA for five years. She's participated in FCA for a year, has been a varsity cheerleader, head captain for three years. She'll be attending Winthrop University. Next is Ms. Shelby Ashlyn Evans. She's the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. De Leon Chandler Evans Jr. She's been at LMA for 14 years. She's a member of Anchor Club for one year, Executive Student Council for one year, Beta Club for three years, National Honor Society for three years, Yearbook Club for four, and this year, she is the Yearbook Editor. Varsity Cheerleader for three years, JV Softball for a year, JV Basketball for a year, and JV Volleyball for a year. She plans to attend the College of Charleston. Next is Mackenzie Elaine Ham. She's the daughter of Mr. and Dr. Thomas Olin Ham. Been here for 14 years, K-4 through 12. She's a member of the Beta Club, National Honor Society, Anchor Club, and Yearbook. She's played varsity tennis for three years and did JV cheerleading for one year. She also attends, plans to attend the College of Charleston. Next is Shelby Joe Harrington. Her parents are Stacy Prescott Harrington and Cecil Thomas Harrington Jr. She's been at LMA for four years. She's a member of the National Honor Society and the Beta Club. 
She played softball for four years, went cross country for a year, track for a year, volleyball for a year, and has done cheerleading for a year. She plans to attend Florence Darlington Tech. Next is Taylor Bowen Harrington. Her parents are Melissa Wynn Harrington and Daniel Bowen Harrington. She's been at LMA for 13 years. She is a member of the Anchor Club. She plays softball for two years and is a cheerleader for four years. She plans to attend the University of South Carolina. Next is Nicholas Benson Hill. He's the son of Charles Nicholas Hill and Lisa Darn Hill. He's been at Lawrence Manning for eight years. He's a member of the FCA. He's played football for Lawrence Manning for eight years. He plans to join the Air Force and specialize in security forces. Next is Claire Elizabeth Holland. She's the daughter of Rhett and Colleen Motley and Chad and Jeannie Holland. She's been in LMA for 10 years. She's a member of the National Honor Society, the Beta Club, Anchor Club, of which she is secretary, and the senior class representative. She's been a varsity cheerleader for three years and plans to attend Ole Miss University. Next is Christian Wells Hussey. She's the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Robert Warren Hussey. She's been a Spaniard for 15 years. She's a member of the Anchor Club, FCA, of which she is the secretary, and student council for seven years. She's been a cheerleader for five years. She's the varsity head captain. Volleyball for one year and softball for five years. She plans to attend Princeton University. Next is Allison Lynette Johnson. She is the daughter of Valerie Johnson and Robert Johnson. She's been attending Lawrence Manning for 12 years. She's a member of the Anchor Club and has played tennis for Lawrence Manning for seven years. She'll be attending the University of South Carolina. Next is Kayla Elaine Johnson. She's the daughter of Robert Frank Johnson and Paula Hussain Johnson. She's been at Lawrence Bank for 13 years, K-5 through 12. She's been in the Beta Club for three years and National Honor Society for three years. She's represented Lawrence Bank in basketball for four and tennis for three. She'll be attending Tulane University. Next is Horton Sean Kelly. He's the son of Karen Horton Wells. He's been at Lawrence Manning for 11 years, second through 12th. He's played B-team football, cross country, and varsity football. He's undecided for this fall. Next is Aaron Joseph Kruger. He is the son of Bobby and Daphne Kruger. He's been at Lawrence Manning for seven years. He's been a member of the Beta Club for three years. Played varsity football for one year, basketball for seven years, and track and field for three years. He plans to attend the University of South Carolina. Next is Curtis Lynn Mason III. He's the son of Curtis Lynn Mason Jr. and Ann Player Mason. He's been at Lawrence Manning for 13 years. He's a member of the National Honor Society and the Beta Club. He's played football for 10 years, baseball for six, and junior legion for four years. He'll be attending the Citadel in the fall. Next is John Burke Michaud. He's the son of John and Terry Michaud. He's been here from K-4 through 12. He's a member of the Anchor Club, FCA, and is a class officer in ninth grade. He's played basketball for two years, golf for four, and football for four. He will be attending Clemson University in the fall. Yeah. 
Next is Addison Leroy Osborne III. He is the son of Al and Lisa Osborne. He's been here since sixth grade. And since 10th grade, he's been in the National Honor Society and the Beta Club. He's played varsity football for two years and plans on attending the College of Charleston. Next is Angie Logan Ridgel. The daughter of John and Ann Ridgel. She's been in LMA for seven years. She's a member of the Beta Club. She's been a varsity cheerleader for one year. She plans on attending the University of South Carolina this fall. Next is Owen McLeod Robinson. He's the son of Andy and Donna Stout. He's been at Lawrence Bay for six years. He's a member of the FCA History Club and is a class representative. He's played football for four years, including representing us at Allstate. He's played soccer for four years, where he made the all-region team, and has played basketball for one year. At this time, he is undecided for this fall. Next is Adam Chase Rogers. He's the son of Everett Rogers and Michelle Rogers. And he's been at Lawrence Manning for six and a half years. He's played, he's run track for five years, and has played football for eight years. At this time, his college fans are undecided. Next is John Preston Rowland III. He's the son of Mr. and Mrs. John Rowland Jr. He's been here since K3. And actually, he's been here for 16 years because he was K5 twice. He's a member of the Beta Club for three years, ran cross country for four, soccer for one, and football for one. He plans to attend Ori Georgetown Tech. Next is Cheyenne Renee Ward. She's the daughter of Steve and Renee Ward. She has been at Lawrence Manning for 15 years. Member of the Leo Club and the Chorus Class. Been Cub Cheerleader for three years. B Team Cheerleading for two years. JV Cheerleading for two years. And a Varsity Cheerleader for three years. She plans to attend the University of South Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen, it's important to note that the students you see before you have learned that delicate balance of academics and athletics. They've represented our school both on the field and in the classroom and throughout the state and the southeast in all of their activities. It requires a great deal of discipline and investment of their time to do what they do representing you as a Swamp Cat. If you will, please join me in giving them a tremendous round of applause and appreciation for what they've done for our school. Parents, at this time, if you don't mind, you can have a seat, and uh, we will uh, we'll have a little fun with the kids. All right, boys and girls, we're going to have a little fun with our student athletes, senior student athletes. We've um, kind of coordinated with their parents to provide some fairly embarrassing opportunities for them today. 
parents have provided with stories or essays regarding their child and perhaps their child's favorite story or pastime. So what we're going to do, if you've ever seen us do this before, it is part of our tradition. We'll read the, the literature provided to us, and then we're going to reveal to whom it belongs. So we'll begin with that right now. This is the poem of the blankie. I kept you warm, covered you in kisses, kept you from hide and seek near misses, soft, soft and comfy since you were just three, forevermore your blankie I'll be. To whom does this belong? Oh dear. He was very attached to me. He always kept one in his hand and one in his mouth. He always had a spare one hidden somewhere. I was his comfort for almost three years, and he only took me out to eat. To whom do these passies belong? Oh, Lord. Okay, here we go. You used to push me around the house and played with me every day, taking me outside in the dirt and even to your nanny's house. You used to push my buttons and watch my, li watch my lights flash and listen to my horns blow. Now that you are grown up, I'm left to sit in your closet to collect dust. Who's missing a fire truck? <laughs> Fun, 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 fun. You see, we're meant to be. Our friendship will never bend. That's the story of you and me from the beginning to the end. To whom does Tigger belong? Brady. Brady. Oh, yeah. Look at it, What are you dreaming about? All right, next up. Show me what we have. Oh boy, okay. F is for fun, I guess. F is for the friends that do stuff together. U is for you and me. N is for anywhere and anytime at all. Here in the deep blue sea. I think I'm supposed to sing that. We can do that. Those were the days. Bikini bottom under the sea. Hoot by the foot. Honey, D, who do you think belongs to me? Miss Andy, did I get that right? Where are you? Is that all right? Is that all right? Okay. Oh, this one's tight. This will be the one I mess up. I am your original best friend. I went everywhere you went. We looked alike, we dressed alike. My favorite was the matching pajamas. I know all your secrets. Although we don't see each other as much as I would like, I know I am special because I am still in the closet and I get to see you when I pick out your outfits. I can remember all the times we played house, went on shopping trips. Yes, you even loved shopping back then. My favorite part was being pushed by you in the stroller. I know one day when you grow up and have children of your own, you can give me to your daughter, and hopefully you will be able to find us matching outfits. 
and I can give, I, I can be your best friend too. To whom does this belong? that I could see. It was my daddy, but in this case, a large purple dinosaur took his place. Every morning I sat and watched faithfully, sang along with his song so happily. My mom recorded so many VH, VH tapes, VHS tapes of me, full of I love you's and you love me's. Together we sat and watched every show. Everywhere I went, he would go. I loved him and he loved me. We were truly a happy family. But then one day that all came to an end. Barney was replaced by preschool and real little friends. He took a back seat in the attic to stay until we found him to celebrate my senior recognition day. <laughs> I will put on you about that tip on Monday to sing it. I saw a few of these tip tip earlier today. I'm a turtle, as you can see. You named me Rocky when you bought me. We've been together since you were five, and our BFF ship is still alive. You're all grown now and about to graduate, but our life together will always be great. Maybe someday you'll pass me down to another little Oz book, but I won't frown. You love me so, you know it's true. You'll be great in whatever you do. six months apart and that right then that was the start of a lifelong friendship that means more to us than any toy or blanket ever will dressed always to match we were the perfect pair and we went with one another anywhere k5 came and they tore us apart but that wouldn't stop us from nagging and bragging and everything in between we made it through the first few years then middle school came and though we'd rather not say, we let jealousy and gossip get in the way. We would bicker and fight and shoot for the heart. All I can say is we made it. Thank our lucky stars. We then moved to high school and made some forever friends, though. Uh, though no, none came close to our friendship that we know will never end. We are seniors now, and who knows... We may have to go our separate ways, but I promise you one thing, at the end of each day, no matter where life takes us next, I'll stand by your side, just as I know you'll stand by mine. In December, wait, let's see what this is. Oh yeah, this will be good. In December 1997, a large family sat around waiting. Grace Briggs was born around 2 a.m. after 22 hours of dad's pacing. She was a tiny little girl, a female born so fair, and in her crib were lots of bows, all colors she would wear. It wasn't long before she talked, and talking she did do, we could not understand a word she said. We didn't have a clue. She fell in love with baby dolls and got them all the time. She dressed herself and the babies, but had trouble with them sometimes. The socks created a problem. 
and she wanted them on right. If not, she fell upon the floor and screamed, the eels do not feel tight. As time went by and Grace grew up, the dolls were packed away. She was only a child, you see, when Ginger came her way. Now Ginger was created and an imaginary friend was named. And anything that Grace did wrong, old Ginger got the blame. Now Grace is all grown up, you see, and dolls are not for her. She swings a bat and softball and the ball becomes a blur. But bows are coming back for Grace as she cheers for all the teams. She has become a young lady now, and to her family, she's a dream. We wish you knew well, we wish you well in all you do, for our little girl has grown. We know you'll find your place in life, for Miss Grace is moving on. Steps would go boom, boom, boom. Those were the days when you were little. Now it's no big mystery or riddle that you eventually grew too big for me. But a reunion between a kid and his dinosaur is something I'd love to see. To whom does this belong? The eyes. The great and powerful eyes. All right, here goes. I gave her Froggy when she was only three. I told her Froggy's heart was full of love from the east. When Froggy traveled a thousand miles out west or only a few miles away as an overnight guest, she knew that beneath his skin, lime green, and nestled between his hundreds of beans, all she had to do was give him a hug and she would certainly feel all of my love. To this day, Froggy sits in her room. I know she still holds him. She smells of her perfume. He smells her perfume. But Froggy and I know, yes, we've had that talk. Graduation is near and out the door she will walk. It's not for a visit this time when she leaves. She's off to college. A higher education she'll achieve. Maybe this time she'll leave Froggy as comfort for me. A plush green toy full of love so strong, to whom do I belong? Blanky. I was made by your grandma before you were even born. Your mommy expected me to only be a part of your baby nursery, but here I am, 17 years later, and I still sleep with you every night. To whom do I belong? was his BB gun, which could not be brought to school. He would go outside and pretend to be a hunter until the day he injured a little rabbit. He made his mom chase the rabbit, away, rabbit down, put it in a cage, and nurse it back to health so the other animals in the woods couldn't hurt it. To whom does this BB gun belong?
I was green to you when we were three, when you were three. You immediately chose my name, Barry. From the day this person gave me to you, no, the, the day Sigmund gave me to you, you were a pair and inseparable too. We slept together every night and made it through many vacations and car rides. You loved me like no other toy, even though I, like your brother, was a boy. I have been waiting for this day for so long, waiting in the silk pillowcase at the top of your mother's closet. To whom do I belong? Oh goodness, I hope I get this one right. Every night you carried this to bed and you said, Eid, Eid, is this correct? We read till you fell asleep. Ironically, today you still stay awake till you are done with your books, school books that is. The character in this book still manages to be your best friend today. Horton hatches the egg turned into a life character for you. To whom does this belong? By the time you were two, we already knew that hunting and fishing is what you would do. Your very first gun was sweet old Daisy. She made you hunting crazy. Then along came the 410 and Daisy was never picked up again. Charles Daly found his way to your daddy's truck. You were eight years old when you killed your first buck. The three and a half inch brownie was your next adventure. It brought you so much joy and splendor. Now it's time for a hardcore fact. Take a break from the woods and stay on track. Get a degree and then you will see that none of these skills will pay your bills. To whom do I, do I belong? Love mom and dad. been with you since day one. I was waiting in your crib when you came home from the hospital. I was given to you with lots of love by your Gigi. I went everywhere with you and still to this day I stay tucked in your pillowcase watching over you while you sleep. I look forward to the next four years while we are away at college. To whom do I belong? When my princess was about four, she asked about me, Tatiana, all of the time. I would send her letters, leave her packages, and tell her about my unicorn in the magical land not far away. I always wrote back to my princess. She was always ecstatic when I would leave her packages. Her brothers would get jealous of all the gifts that I would leave her. Even though she is grown and I don't come to visit, very visit her very often, I will always be her special fairy. To whom do I belong? Oh, you talk to you but you... I helped you fight the monsters under your bed. I'm strong, courageous, and red. 
We would play for hours. I'd show you all of my powers. I kept you from any danger. And I'm a mighty orphan power ranger. To whom do I belong? I was little when you got me. I used to have eyes and a nose. You took me everywhere you went. You slept with me. You sat on me while you ate. We were inseparable for years. You were well into your teen years when you stopped sleeping with me. But I still sleep beside you, beside your bed every night. My goodness, I'm sorry. I've been with you all these years and I can't wait to go to college with you. To whom do I belong? Your bed is where I sat, and oh, how I loved that. You would always tell me what was in your head. I would assure you there was nothing to dread. I watched you build rope traps, train tracks, and listened to you read. I would always be there when you would bleed. I would cheer for you to win each time you would wrestle. John Rogers again. I was so proud to be your bear friend. And I wish you the best at each day's end. My name is Cameron, and I was your punching bag when you were younger. You stuffed me under couch cushions and threw me into pools. But now I'm taller than you, stronger than you, but you can still take me. To whom do I belong? This young lady fell in love with her pink cloth baby doll when she was six months old. No matter where she went, she had to have her baby with her. One day, we had a tragedy. While she stayed with her grandmother, her baby was misplaced. So grandma went to the store and bought another one exactly like the one she had. She looked at the doll and informed us that doll was not her baby. Luckily, her doll was found. She loved her baby doll and never played with any other doll. To this day, that doll is in her room in a very special place. To whom do I belong? For truck was this person's second word. He would look at me and say tuck instead of mama. He loves a truck. And this blow up truck was one of his favorite to play with. It's soft and colorful with big wheels. He finally got his wish and got a truck last year. To whom do I belong? Ladies and gentlemen, it's a special time for these seniors, student athletes, and their parents. Got a whole half of a school year to go, really about three quarters of one, but it feels like May's getting here in a hurry. 
For 12 years now, I've had the honor of watching so many students come through here, and I'm very proud to uh, recognize these folks today, along with all of the administration and all of our family here at LMA. Once again, a big round of applause for all these students. We don't have the music truck ready today, but if you please stand, we'll sing the alma mater. <laughs> seniors, if you'd like to come to the center of the field, please. All the seniors. Boys and girls, we're going to leave this up to you, so please join me now as we sing the alma mater. I'll start us and finish us off. Ready, seniors? Here we go. Lawrence Manning A big round of applause for this sacrifice. Two thumbs at 16. Are we going to be in the hall tonight? Yes. We need everybody here tonight to be in the hall. Actually, we're shopping so we can bring the children back. Good afternoon. Let's win.